praise be Jesus and Mary. No, for you know, we too would all do well if we called out, much as this blind man, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me, seeking God's mercy, recognizing our own weaknesses due to sin, and seeking his mercy, and seeking to be cured from that blindness that sin brings about upon all of us. That blindness to the light that is Christ himself. And thus exercising our faith in him that we too might see, might see him and glorify him and praise him forever. And here we celebrate the memorial of St. Clare, uh, sorry, St. Agnes, who is the sister of St. Clare, who followed shortly after her sister in following the way of life laid out by St. Francis of Assisi. St. Clare, as you know, left her home at the calling of St. Francis. It was on Palm Sunday, went out into the forest and was taken by St. Francis to the Port Cincola and there gave up her life to the religious life, to, the holy, to, the holy, to a life consecrated to God in religion. Her sister Agnes, now St. Clare was only 18 at that time, her sister Agnes followed a very short time later, at the age of 15. St. Clair, when her family came after, they were from a noble family in Assisi, when her family came to, to pull her away back home, she went into a church, took off her veil, and placed her hands on the altar and took asylum in the church. They just left her. And she continued in her religious life. With Agnes, it wasn't quite so easy. When she went in not so much the similar way, and simply left home and went off to follow St. Clair, her sister, the, her uncle and her brothers came after her to bring her back home. In fact, they pulled her out of the monastery where they were staying. They were being formed by Benedictines at this time. <coughs> in order to live the life of St. Francis at the Poor Clares. And the, and the uncle and the brothers actually carried Agnes away. And St. Clair prayed for her that our Lord would protect her. And that's what we all need to do, that we have that protection of our Lord. And in fact, she became so heavy as they were carrying her away, her uncle and her brothers, that they had to lay her on the ground, they could not pick her up. The uncle becoming furious and began to, he was about to lay a blow on her when he felt a sting as if a bolt of lightning through his arm and he was forced to back. And they simply left her there on the ground and St. Clair came out in a carriage and picked her up and took her back into the monastery. And thus she followed the very life of her own sister, would later become abbess of her own monastery. And just as St. Clair died in abject poverty, granted that by the Pope before her death, only three months later on this day, St. Agnes also followed her in death. And so we pray for the intercession of one who did give up everything to follow Christ, did seek that light that is Christ. In fact, her name at birth was Catherine, and it was changed to Agnes. Agnes comes from the Latin word that means lamb. She became, as it were, a lamb, the lamb of God. Not the lamb of God, that's our Lord himself, but certainly imitating him in everything, detached from everything so she could give herself completely to him. Let us seek that faith, calling out to our Lord for his mercy, that we too may see his light and glorify him in paradise forever. 
Praise be Jesus and Mary, now and forever.